Hi, I'm Andrew Bailey, curator of collections here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. And today we're honoring the 75th anniversary of Victory in Japan, or VJ Day, by taking you through hangars four and five and highlighting some of the aircraft in our collection, which helped tell the story of the end of World War II on September 2nd, 1945. The Super Fortress first flew in September of 1942 as one of the heaviest production aircraft of its time, weighing over 100,000 pounds. The B-29 carried more bombs higher, farther, and faster than any other bomber of World War II. Its two bomb bays max capacity was 32 500-pound bombs. It introduced innovations like pressurized crew compartments and guns that could be fired by remote control. Over 3,000 Super Fortresses were built and many continued to serve in the U.S. Air Force into the early 1950s as bombers, reconnaissance planes, and as refueling tankers. The B-29 was one of the U.S. Army Air Force's first pressurized combat aircraft. This allowed the crew to be able to fly at altitudes without wearing oxygen masks and cold weather flight gear. What it also meant was that if the fuselage was damaged in combat, the aircraft could quickly lose air pressure and oxygen. This happened during one of the combat missions and one of the crew members used his pair of flight gloves to stuff the hole in the fuselage and keep the air pressure within the aircraft equalized. This B-29, on loan from the National Museum of the United States Air Force, began its journey on April 6, 1945, when it was delivered to the Army Air Forces. Assigned to the 330th Bomb Group on the island of Guam, it was given the group identifier K-40 and named Quaker City in honor of Philadelphia. The crew gave it a more personal name, Sentimental Journey, for the lyrics sung by Doris Day that gave the men hope of their return trip home. This B-29 has quite a history, including a Japanese fighter kill credited to the tail gunner. As seen on its markings, it would fly 32 combat missions. Three dots and a dash is Morse code for the V, which symbolized victory in World War II. This mission mark represents that its World War II journey culminated with the show of force flyover of the USS Missouri 75 years ago on September 2nd, 1945 for the surrender of Japan, officially known as VJ Day. Besides its heavy bomb load, the B-29 had a massive psychological impact. The Japanese had a similar mental effect with their kamikaze aircraft, one of the all-time shocking examples of man versus machine. Throughout the history of aerial combat, there has been recorded incidents of a pilot choosing to sacrifice themselves by using their airplane as a guided weapon. Japan became the only country to make this a national policy towards the end of World War II. Organized aerial suicide attacks began in August 1944 against Allied naval forces. Most of these attacks would be made using normal combat aircraft, but the Japanese leaders realized that there were not nearly enough aircraft to fend off the Allies. The KI-115 Tsurugi and the Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka were designed specifically to answer that problem. The Tsurugi was meant to be easy to build with very little strategic materials. To save weight, the entire landing gear structure was dropped from the aircraft after takeoff. During testing, the aircraft proved to be very difficult to fly and none were used operationally. The Oka is a winged human-guided anti-ship bomb. The operational version of this weapon contained a 2,600 pound bomb and a single pilot. It was carried close to its target by a G4 Betty bomber mothership. The Oka was first used against American forces during the invasion of Okinawa. A total of seven ships were hit by Oka bombs, three of which sank. This is a two-seat trainer version. Both aircraft were captured by Allied forces at the end of the war and shipped to the United States for evaluation. After evaluation, they were given to the National Air and Space Museum and eventually placed on loan here. The U.S. Navy asked for a long-range patrol bomber in 1942. The PB-4Y-1 was delivered in the design of the B-24 Liberator with high altitude flight characteristics. Following year, the updated PB-4Y-2 privateer design incorporated many changes, including a single vertical tail, more armament, low-level engines, and a stretched fuselage. The privateer also had state-of-the-art search radars and navigation equipment, giving the aircraft an all-weather capability. This aircraft flew combat operations against the northern islands of Japan with Patrol Bomber Squadron 120 out of Shimia Island, Alaska, from June of 1945 until the end of the war in September. Our privateer would become an aerial firefighter in 1965 and remained in this form for decades. The Pima Air and Space Museum acquired it in 2015 and finished its conversion back to patrol plane configuration, completed with installation of original engines, cowls, and markings that reflect its World War II service. Here's another aircraft highlight I think you'll love. It was delivered to the U.S. Navy on Valentine's Day, February 14, 1945. The Avenger is more commonly referred to as the Grumman TBF. 
However, General Motors was enlisted to help produce more of these Grumman airplanes, and although otherwise identical, they were designated TBMs. The Avenger first entered combat during the Battle of Midway, and despite a poor performance in that engagement, went on to be the primary torpedo bomber of the war. Later versions of the aircraft designated TBM-3 had a more powerful engine, and the E variant was equipped with a special anti-submarine radar. Just like the Sentimental Journey, this General Motors TBM-3 E Avenger was sent to Guam 75 years ago in April of 1945. This aircraft was assigned to Navy Torpedo Squadron 1 on USS Bennington and participated in combat operations against Japanese bases in the home islands. It also shares its place in history with the Super Fortress as one of the hundreds of B-29s and carrier planes that flew over the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay for the surrender ceremony on September 2, 1945 to mark the end of World War II.